Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make this gorgeous textured chunky knit hat. It's knit in the round from the bottom up. It, we um, do about six rounds of one by one rib stitch and then we work the um, St. John's wart stitch in the round and then you can add any sort of pom-pom you would like on the top. So let's get started. All right, the supplies you're gonna need to make this hat, you're gonna need um, one skein of Woolies Thick and Quick yarn. This is the color Glacier. You're gonna need a tape measure. You're gonna need scissors, a tapestry needle, one stitch marker, and then you will need a size 10 millimeter US 15, 16 inch circular knitting needle to get started, all right? All right, so we are gonna begin by casting on 48 stitches using the long tail cast on method. If you want to change the amount of cast on stitches, you just need to add or subtract in multiples of six. So that means if you want to go smaller, you'll need to subtract six stitches from 48, which will give you 42 stitches. If you wanna go a little bit bigger, you'll need to add six stitches to 48, which would give you um, 54. <laughs> Took me a little second there. Um, all right, so I um, I have a little bit of a larger head, and I like to make hats a little looser. So I'm casting on what the pattern calls for, for 48 stitches. So give yourself a long enough tail for 48 stitches, and we're going to make a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, we're simply going to loop the yarn over and pull the yarn through for a loop. All right, and now I'm going to slip that loop onto my 10 millimeter, 16 inch circular knitting needle. And I'm gonna make sure my tail is in the front. And we have our slip knot on the needle already. So we need to cast on an additional 40, I'm sorry, I have an additional 47 stitches to get us to 48. So we're gonna make sure that long tail is in front. We're going to grab the yarn like this. All right, over the thumb and over the index finger and then we're going to turn our hand and go under the yarn over our thumb and over the yarn around our index finger. And then we're going to catch that and pull through. So we have two stitches cast on now. We're gonna just keep doing this. Under, over, pull it through. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is 47, 48. All right, so now we're gonna join the work in the round. And in order to join the work in the round, I'm actually gonna cast on one more stitch because we're gonna drop that stitch to secure um, both the, the beginning and the end of the round together. So let's cast on one more stitch. So we will have 49 stitches, okay? And now a good thing to do is to set the work down and make sure the work isn't twisted, okay? So you wanna set the work down and make sure everything's flat. Because when we join, we want the work to um, not be twisted, okay? So just make sure that um, everything is flat and we're gonna move the stitches sort of to the end because we need to bring the front and the back, the front and the ends together. All right, so we are going to slip the stitch on the left side of the needle over to the right, just like that, okay? Then we're going to slip this first stitch that was over on the right needle over the stitch we just moved over and then we're gonna drop it. So we're gonna bring it over, okay? And now we're just going to let go of that stitch. 
and you can pull the yarn a little bit. And now we've connected our work. We've joined it in the round. And now is a good time to place that stitch marker to denote the beginning of the round. And now we're going to do a simple one by one rib, which is a knit one stitch, purl one stitch. So I'm gonna start knitting, knit, bring the yarn in front for the purl, purl. Bring the yarn to the back to knit, yarn in front to purl. Knit, purl. And you're gonna continue this all the way around. I'm nearing the end of the first round here. I'm just gonna finish with my purl stitch and just wanted to show you guys how we slip the marker for the beginning of the round onto the next over to the next marker and then we begin our knit one purl one again so we always end on a purl stitch and start with a knit stitch so we're going to knit the knit stitches and purl the purl stitches for a one by one rib so we're going to continue this for a total of six rounds and um you can start to count the stitches in the rounds this is one round this is two rounds so I will meet you back here after you have completed six rounds of this one by one rib stitch. All right, so I have completed six rounds of the one by one rib. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now it's time to start our, the main body of the hat. And we are going to be knitting the St. John's wart stitch pattern in the round so I will tell you exactly how to do that. So um, this repeat occurs over six stitches. So the pattern is slip one stitch, slip one stitch, knit two, then slip that first stitch over both of those stitches. And then we're just simply going to knit three stitches. One, two, three. And then we're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around. All right, so it's slip one stitch, slip one stitch, knit two, one, two. And then we're gonna take that slipped stitch and pass that slip stitch over those two stitches we just knit and drop it, okay? And then we're gonna knit three stitches. One, two, three. Keep doing this all the way around. Slip one, knit two, slip that, slip past that slip stitch over those two knit stitches knit three. One, two, three. Slip one, knit two, pass that slip stitch over those two knit stitches, drop that stitch, knit three. One, two, three. All right, we are nearing the end of our first round. See, it, the math should work out perfectly where you have six stitches left before the end of the round. Slip your stitch, pass that slip stitch over, and knit to the end. All right, 
Now we are ready for round two. And round two is knit one, yarn over, knit four. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna do that all the way to the end. So it's knit one, yarn over, knit four. One, two, three, four. Knit one, yarn over, knit four. One, two, three, four. Knit one, yarn over, knit four. One, two, three, four. Knit one, yarn over, knit one, two, three, four. All right, we just finished round two. Now we're gonna do a round three. There, this, um, this stitch pattern is a four row repeat. So we will complete four different rounds and then we will repeat those four rounds till we get to our desired length. So row three, we are going to knit three, one, two, make sure you knit that yarn over three, then we're going to slip one, knit two, and then we're gonna pass that slip stitch over. So we're doing, it's very similar to round one, but we're starting at a different point, okay? So it's knit three, slip one stitch, knit two, pass that slip stitch over. All right. Knit three. Slip a stitch. Knit two, pass that slip stitch over. Knit three, slip a stitch, knit two, pass it over. You're gonna continue that all the way around to the end. I'm six stitches before the end on a round three. So I continue with the knit three, one, two, three, slip one, knit two, and pass that slip stitch over those two knit stitches. And now we're at the end of round three, so we're gonna start round four. And round four is similar to round two, it's just at a different spot. So round four is knit four, one, two, three, four, yarn over, knit one, okay? Knit four, one, two, three, four, yarn over, knit one. All right, so you're gonna repeat that all the way across. Knit four, yarn over, knit one. 
knit four, one, two, three. And I wanted to show you one thing. When you're knitting the St. John's wart stitch, I just knit three stitches. I need to knit one more and then do the yarn over. I just want to show you that point where that yarn over should be. That yarn over should be between, like you see how this, this is where that um, slip stitch passed over those two. It's always kind of in between. So that was the knit four yarn over. That yarn over is always kind of in between that notch. That'll just help you kind of keep track to help you make sure you're in the right spot when you're doing that yarn over. Four, I'm right where that notch is. So I'm gonna do a yarn over. have our last yarn over, knit one. All right, so we have just completed four rounds of that St. John's wart stitch. So now we're just going to go back and repeat those four rounds. So we're gonna start with a round one, which is a slip one, knit two. I'll just start showing you. We're gonna go back to that slip one, knit two, pass that slip stitch over the knit two stitches and then knit three to the end. So you so you will continue rows rounds one through four until your piece measures, until your hat measures nine inches. So we are currently at about three inches. So we're gonna wanna continue the body of the hat for another six inches. So you're gonna continue knitting rounds one through four, just as we already have, until your hat measures nine inches, okay? And when you are nearing nine inches, you wanna make sure you're ending after a row one or a row three. One okay. thing I wanted to show you, I'm nearing the end. I just finished knitting three stitches on a row one, and I have five stitches left, and I know as I get towards the end, um, the stitch pattern goes in increments of three. So I know something is off if I have five stitches left and I'm at the end of a repeat. So I'm gonna kind of look back and see where I've messed up. You can tell like the the slip stitch pass, passing over the two knit stitches, they're kind of on top of each other here. And if you look, you can tell that I kind of messed up over here and I can kind of see oh, there was a slip stitch passed over. And look, I have four knit stitches there and I know they should be three. So I'm gonna put these stitches back and go back so I can fix it. So I usually just stick my needle um, into the stitch and kind of knit backwards. Um, it gets a little tricky when you need to fix um, this passed over stitch, but just be gentle and undo the stitch and slip those stitches back on the needle without dropping them. All right, so make sure the stitches are turned the right way. So this is where I've messed up. So I knit four stitches here instead of just knitting three. Oh, you know what it was? I didn't, I just slipped this stitch um, and I didn't um, pass it over the right way. So you can tell that I slipped that stitch because the yarn is here. I didn't knit the stitch, so that's a slip stitch. So I'm gonna knit to pass this slip stitch over. And now I should be okay. One, two, three. 
You should be knitting that yarn over in the middle of the three stitches. You'll get to kind of, you'll get a feel for the pattern and like where you should be as you go. But yes, now I am fine. Now the stitches line up evenly and you can tell my um, past stitch is lining up and now I'm at a knit three here. So I just wanted to show you how to go back and fix something in case you have messed up. I just wanted to show you what the hat is looking like after completing um, three rounds of repeats. So that's about 12 rounds. Okay, so this whole hat at this point measures about um, five inches, I believe. Let's double check, I'll show you how to measure. Yeah, so it's about five inches from the cast on edge and we wanna get to nine, so we need to knit about four more um, four more inches of the St. John's wart stitch in the round. So just continue on until you get to about nine inches or so. All right, now I'm at the point where I have knit nine inches of the St. John's wart stitch in the round. You can see we're at nine, nine inches. So now it's time to do our decrease for the crown of the hat. And this is just decreasing stitches so the hat comes together a little closer um, towards the top. We're gonna do a simple decrease. Um, and all we're gonna do is knit two together all the way around. So that looks like this. We are going to insert the needle through two stitches and just knit the stitch. All right, so we're gonna go from two stitches to one stitch and we're gonna do this all the way around. And you wanna make sure you finish um, knitting after, after a, a round one or round three so you don't have any yarn overs. It'll just be a little bit easier to decrease if you don't have any yarn overs sitting on the needle. So I finished knitting after a round one. So we're gonna just keep decreasing all the way around by knitting two together. The stitches will start to get a little tight on your 16 inch needle, but it's still possible to do this. I honestly like to design my, my hat pattern so I don't have to use double pointed needles um, when we decrease for the, round, for the crown. So you just keep knitting two together all of the way across here. And like I said, it might get a little tight on the 16 inch circular needles, but it should still work. Okay, so we're working our way across here. And we've got four stitches left. Knit two together knit two together. All right, so you can see it's a little tight on the 16 inch um, knitting needle, but it still works. Okay, so you're gonna wanna slip off the stitch marker because now all we're simply gonna do is cut about, I don't know, I usually cut about like an eight inch tail or so. We're gonna cut a, a tail, we're gonna cut the yarn. We're gonna take our tapestry needle and we're going to insert the yarn through the tapestry needle like that. And now we're going to take the stitches off of the knitting needle and weave this yarn all the way through to seam up the top of the hat. All right, so that looks like this. We took the stitch marker off. We're here at the beginning of the round. And what I like to do is to kind of pull the stitches um, on the right side of the needle, kind of off the needle. 
everything's gonna be coming off the needle anyway. This way we won't drop a stitch. Okay, so you're gonna just start taking the stitches off the needle from the left hand, from the left side, and working them onto this tapestry needle, which is connected to the end of the yarn. Okay? And you just start kind of weaving the stitches through. It can get a little wonky, but like I said, I just like to continue pulling this needle. We don't really need that end anymore, and all the stitches are just gonna eventually come off. So, it looks like this. All right, so all you're going to do now is pull the yarn through and tighten it up. You're going to want to pull it pretty tight. And you can see the crown of the hat. You're going to pull that really tight, OK? Then you're going to want to weave the yarn back through it, and we can turn the hat inside out. And there's no right or wrong, wrong way to close up the top of the hat. But I usually just kind of weave it through here. And I do end up tying a knot so it's really secure. And I just kind of weave it back through some of these stitches and get a knot through, tie it tight, do this a few times just to seam that up, tie one more knot, make sure it's really tight, and then you can cut the yarn off and weave the, the ends in. Let's weave the ends in here a little bit first. Again, it's the inside of the hat, so no one's really going to see this. And then I'm just going to weave it through a few stitches here and cut the yarn. And now we can weave in the end at the bottom ribbing of the hat. And I usually just, again, there's no exact science to this. You can weave in ends how you would like. But I usually just take the needle and kind of like, Make sure you can see here. I usually just take the needle and kind of weave it up one side of a, of a stitch here. Just weave it in through here all the way up. Pull that through. Make sure it's not too tight. And then I s just cut the yarn. And we're done with the hat and we're ready to make the pom-pom now. So the hat is complete. Again, um, you know, you can make your own yarn pom-pom or you can use a faux fur pom-pom if you'd like, whatever you want. Right, if you're making your own pom-pom, I'll show you how to use a pom-pom maker. I love using pom-pom makers to make poms. They're just um, extra fluffy and a little more symmetrical. Um, so you're gonna wanna take apart the pom-pom maker. So you've got the sides um, kinda together here. We're gonna start by wrapping the yarn around the pom, pom maker, like this. And you're gonna wanna start in a way that where you can end up, you want to end up, you want to end up at this edge here. So when we bring it together, the yarn will continue along over here. 
Um, I'm left-handed actually, so I'm gonna flip this around because it's a little easier for me to go this way around. And you're gonna wanna make sure you use a lot of yarn, uh, make it pretty thick so you have a full pom-pom. And you're gonna just keep wrapping this around So you get to the end. All right, so now we've wrapped it around. So now we're gonna just pull this yarn through here. We're gonna close it over there. Okay, we've got our yarn over here. Now we're gonna open up this other side and just continue wrapping the yarn around this side of the pom-pom maker. Again, try to match the thickness of the other side. All right, so I finished wrapping all the yarn around. I'm going to close, close it off here. Um, and then I'm actually just going to snip the end. And now we're going to take really sharp scissors and make really, make, first before you do this, make sure it's really shut and secure. So now we're gonna take our scissors and cut through the middle, okay? And again, use really sharp scissors. It's hard to do this if you don't have sharp scissors. And you're just gonna cut all the way around. Okay? And then you're going to take your yarn and you are going to wrap the yarn around the center. We want, the goal is to have this yarn, this, this yarn that we're tying now is holding the whole pom-pom together. So I'm going to cut some yarn and now you're going you're gonna to tie a knot and make sure it goes all the way through the center. Okay, so you pull really tight and do a big knot here. And then now we can totally remove the pom-pom maker. It does come apart. I like, I don't know, sometimes I like to take it off this way. Um, or you can take it off there so it totally detaches and now we have our palm and you should have the two strings um, still hanging down here that we use to knot the pom-pom sometimes depending on how it's looking you might want to um, wrap it around again just to tighten it up I might actually do that here um, it just helps to tighten it up. All right, and then you can snip off any crazy ends that are hanging out that might have gotten loose. All right, that looks pretty good. And now you're just going to attach it to your hat. And you can, t again, attach it any way you'd like, but I usually just take one, one of those strands and push it through one side of that little hole on the top and then um, grab the other side and push it through. And then I just tie a big old knot inside. And you can snip off any ends there. And you can see how the palm is looking on the hat at this point if you want to make any other adjustments with the palm. And there you go. You've got your super chunky textured knit hat that uses the St. John's wart stitch. So I hope you enjoyed this.